Okay, then RFID alarm system. RFID stands for radio frequency identification. And basically, if you break this laser without giving the RFID the right card, um, it will set off an alarm. Well, point out where the lasers are, because it's kind of hard to see. This is the... <laughs> <laughs> He's got a laser, um, a laser pointer on the right side of the door, and then what's that on the left side over there? That's a photoresistor. Okay. Um, so if you walk through it, it will set off the alarm. And if you give it the right card, it will turn off the alarm. Can you hold that, bring that card up a little closer so we can see what you're doing there? That's pretty cool. Yeah. So what is that? Um, it's just a card that has a microchip inside, so when you put it by the RFID, the magnetic field around it turns on the microchip and it sends a signal to it. How, um, so so the, there, you're using the card and then there's also, a, there must be a, a a reader over there on your Arduino stuff? That's the reader? Yeah. Cool. Um, that seems pretty high tech. Like, is that super expensive? Um, we looked on the website, it was about $40, $45. Mm -hmm. So, not really expensive, but. Did you look that up for a um, lot? So I can use this to make sure Spencer can't get into my house because we're not on the same network so he can't turn off my coffee. <laughs> 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 did, you guys, did you guys do any research on the RFID? Like where, where else is that technology used? Um, it's used for like when you swap your credit card by um, as storage to pay for your stuff. Um, that's they use an RFID there. <laughs> The difference is um, a lot of times those tags they're not smart they're just it's just a they're they're all the same and it just knows that like someone walked out with a tag on yeah. and the technology here there's actually a unique like a, a code number right yeah. so it's not it's not just identifying that like a card was swiped by it knows like this specific card came by I, I think somebody was telling me they went to Disney World and you wear an RFID bracelet and you can use it for like every, you know, paying for everything, your drinks, your, um, you know, going on rides, whatever. They have, um, they have RFID chips in drink cups. In like, you, if you don't get the bracelet, you get a card still for your hotel. And you just walk up to your lock to typing a number, swiping, you just hold it here. You can be in your wallet still, hold it here and uh, it unlocks. So it's, it contains a unique like code that's associated yeah. with your credit card and your, you know, personal information. Kyle, I had a question for you. What, what, is, what was the hardest part of this project? The coding. With the, um, trying to figure out the right um, numbers for the cards, that's the biggest one. And then the RFID itself, and then the laser, and then the speaker. <laughs> the whole project just was intense. <laughs> Kevin, we haven't heard from you. What, what do you have to add? Anything? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you did a good job setting off the alarm. I don't want to take that away from you, but. Anybody else have any questions? Right here's a question. Yes. How effective is this? Is it 
Um, what we have isn't very effective against onesies that are there, but <laughs> <laughs> you could hook something up to where it um, like sends a signal to the police station. Sure. Okay, another question here? Can you hook up like a booby trap to it? <laughs> you could, yeah. Okay, I, these are good questions, but I, I want to you know, keep an eye on the time. We have about 15 minutes. Yes? Like, is the light, like, the value of the light, is it high enough so that, like, if you were to shine, like, a bright flashlight or something on it, could you keep it from, like, tripping the alarm? Yeah, but you can change the light value. So you're saying if you're a, like a uh, like a MacGyver burglar or somebody, <laughs> you would you'd have a bright spotlight in your pocket, and you'd shine it at the light sensor, and then you walk, walk the through, and then yeah. But if, if you were actually setting this up, it would be on the inside, not the outside. <laughs> okay, so we have about 15 minutes. Here's what I would like for us to do. Um,